Hey, good Monday morning, everybody. Hope you all had a good weekend. Well, hello, people. How are you? Okay. <clears throat> Bob, how are you? Welcome, welcome. How was your weekend, sir? By the way, I love the... Uh, Posts you did of uh, those German editions of Lady Death. Those are pretty slick, dude. <laughs> Bob, it's always good to see you when you're on here. Scott, no. Oh, Scott, how are you? Scott, it's good to see you. How you doing today, man? Oh, wow. Hey, I, I get all the good people today. This is awesome. Awesome. Bob, I'm sure you know Scott. Scott, no. I'm sure you do. Alan, thank you very much. Thank you very much for joining us. Uh, just gonna give it a couple more minutes and let some uh, folks get on here. I wanna uh, make a special announcement about something we're uh, doing um, for the next few weeks that I think might interest you all. Uh, bingo. All right. Everybody, everybody, everybody. Hey, everybody. Hope you guys uh, all had a wonderful weekend. Let me grab my other phone so I can answer any comments that are coming my way. Um, real quick, um, I hope everyone had a wonderful weekend. I hope everyone is having an amazing Monday. Um, Good. Yeah, yeah, Bob, that, that was a really cool, some really cool photos and some cool stuff you uploaded. Um, I love um, books um, from other countries, especially when they're, um, you know, Coffin Comics or, you know, old chaos stuff. It's really cool to see that stuff. Um, the stuff we don't see a lot. So when you posted that, I was just like in heaven uh, looking at that and just seeing the difference of how they package the books and the characters and whatnot. So it was really cool. Um, real quick, guys, um, you all who know me, uh, I come from the background of comic book retail. Let me set this up. And um, with COVID and everything going on this year, um, a lot of shops have taken a big, big hit. And um, we are helping out with that. We are helping the local comic shops with a metallic edition. Now this is a charity book, so no discounts qualify. Um, this is straight up money we're raising for the comic shops, um, all your local comic shops. Um, first time I was in a local comic shop here in the Valley, it was probably around 1980, 1981. Uh, it was uh, downtown Tempe, and there was a great little uh, comic shop slash science fiction bookstore called uh, The One Bookshop. Um, the owner of that, his name escapes me now, but he passed on uh, 20 years ago. Um, but he was, he always impressed me. He was a really cool uh, shop owner. He had a very beautiful shop. He had... Um, he would play old radio shows over um, the PA system in the store. He always wore a suit, and the man smoked cherry pipe tobacco. He was a really cool guy, and he was the one place I could go as an eight, eight, ten-year-old kid that could get the model kits for the Star Blazer show. Um, it's the only place I had ever seen him before. That's what local comic shops mean not only to me, but to other people, is they represent the gateway for a lot of us into fandom. Um, a lot of shops, uh, our neighborhood shops, or maybe we're out of town visiting friends, uh, and they took us to their local shop, and we got hooked there. Um, if it wasn't for comic books, I probably wouldn't have the reading level or the comprehension I had because I had a very bad reading uh, problems growing up. And a teacher 
picked up uh, the old Spidey uh, super stories and that's how I learned how to read. I always try to promote reading with kids and parents that are trying to get their kids to read. I say get a comic book in their hand. Find out what their interest is. Geared towards that, if you stimulate their minds with something they like, they're going to learn to read. A lot of local comic shops uh, are needing all of our help right now. Um, I've been doing comic book retail for 25 years, and uh, I've seen a lot of ups and downs. Um, this year, it was definitely a, a very unique situation. I think we're all in it. Um, it's very bizarre. I don't think any of us would have ever thought something like this would happen, or we would even be alive for something like this, but we are. And comic book shops, your local comic book shops, a lot of these folks, it's small business. A lot of them are families. This is their business. They love what they do. They put their heart and soul in it. So what I recommend to you, everybody, if you wouldn't mind uh, going to the Coffin Comic Shop, go ahead and uh, click on the link and pull up the Lady Death Chaos Rules Local Comic Shop Metal Edition. It is a hundred dollar book. You can get that size, uh, signed size of Mondays. Anywho, um, these are um, pre-orders and shipping advisories. Um, pre-orders for this item will be accepted through Monday, October 19th. So that's pretty much a month we've got to help sell these editions to raise money for the comic book shops. We anticipate, uh, we anticipate shipping the product in late October, early November. And you know, Brandy will be on that, and so will the rest of the warehouse crew cool, getting that stuff packed up and shipped out to you. So, you know, they really work hard to hit those dates, and Brandy is really dedicated to making sure she gets the books to you guys on time. Uh, because this is a pre-order item, we strongly recommend ordering it separately from in-stock items to avoid the shipping delays. Uh, there's a CGC grading uh, advisory. If uh, you are an international, international customer looking to get a book graded by CGC, please contact us at grading at coffincomics.com uh, after placing your order. Um, this is the uh, really special edition Monty Moore is doing the art. I only have a black and white cover, but you know how our medals look, and you know this is going to look beautiful. And this is to help raise money for all the local mom and pop shops, all of these comic shops that have really taken a hit because of uh, COVID-19, Corona, whatever they're calling it. Um, so this is something we're, we're, we're definitely helping out. So click on the link. Um, local comic book shop. It's the Lady Death Chaos Rules. We're helping raise money for the local comic shops around the nation. So help us. It's a beautiful book. You know it's going to be beautiful because it's Coffin Comics, so you expect good quality, beautiful books, and that's what we're here for. Uh, let's see if there's any questions on anything. Jay Taylor. Pat, I really love uh, the community we're building here. Um, there was somebody... Uh, that mentioned something last week that, that really struck a chord with me. Um, I believe it was Ace. He said, the friends I've met um, through these groups, the Lady Death Universe, the uh, Coffin Comics, he said these were the type of friends he would never trade in for anyone, for anything, and some of the most best people he's ever met. And that meant a lot, and that showed that we have a hell of a community we're a damn good community. We all look out for each other, and um, we all do it out of love for all things Coffin Comics, Lady Death, La Muerta, and Hell Witch, and Zack. So thank you guys. Um, that was very cool to see that uh, from one of my regulars here. And um, I just wanted to relate that. You're, you guys are a bunch of beautiful people. You're a lot of fun people. You're all crazy, just like I am. And um, we love you, and thank you very much. Um, so let's get on to some of the stuff I want to show you guys today. First up, we have some warehouse finds. Um, this stuff is going really quick, guys. Um, a lot of the stuff I showed you last week, that was it. They're gone. Um, so a couple things is for uh, metal cards. We have the Nadi Arana. I think there's only one or two of these left. They are going quick. Get it while we got it. 
go ahead and click on the links. We do things different for all you folks who are new here. Um, we don't do shout outs, there's links. Just click on the links and you can go to shop um, either at the Coffin Comic Shop or the eBay store. We even have a 15 page preview of Lady Death Chaos Rules too. If you're new to uh, Coffin Comics and you wanna know where to start, well there's a link right there, click on it and we'll give you a 15 page preview of Lady Death Chapter One. Another real beautiful item, this is the uh, Hell Witch Legend Metallic card. This is beautiful. This is uh, Lucio Paralito. Make sure I sound pronounce it wrong. This is a beautiful image. This is just stunning. Uh, when Brian was first uh, showing us uh, the imaging for the upcoming Hell Witch stuff in the previous one, I was floored. It's just getting more and more beautiful. Stuff like this, like um, the metal card that is also the hardcover edition for Hell Witch the Forsaken, Pal Pantalina. This is the hardcover. This is one beautiful, beautiful image. And not only that, I really like um, the new colors he's got on. It's really making his art just pop even more. So he's got a wonderful eye. Next up, we have La Muerta. This is a metallic card. This is uh, Maria. Only 66 were made. Um, and we're running low on these. So once they're gone, they're gone. I don't have any. Jay Taylor, we can take care of that. We have the means. We have the technology. We can hook you up with some Hell Witch. Just definitely click on the links. I even uploaded a, a lot of uh, Scratch and Dent stock too. Um, so check on the eBay store. I'll be showing you what I have uploaded recently. Uh, some other cool stuff uh, we have for uh, Warehouse Finds uh, Week 3 is La Muerta Vengeance Raw. There was only 400 of this made. This is available on the direct markets. And this is great because the cover is just beautiful. This is the raw edition and interiors. It's basically you get the colors. So basically the raw is showing off that stunning piece of work right there. I highly recommend these. We only do uh, very limited amounts. These are 48 page graphic novels. Um, and usually uh, once the rods are done, that's it, they're gone. We don't tend to reissue those at all. Another really cool thing that they found for the warehouse finds, uh, just click on the link and that'll take you right there. Uh, Lady Death Pinups, this is the incentive edition by Richard Ortiz. Beautiful image. Miguel. Hey, hey, Haley. I see Haley's in the house. Everyone say hey to Haley. I want to see 500. Hey, Haley's. Oh, I don't even know who these people are calling me. Hey, Haley. Good to see you. Hi, hi, hi. Hope you had a wonderful weekend. Some other really cool stuff we have also for the warehouse finds. And like I say, guys, I hate to sound like a broken record, but this stuff is selling out fairly quickly. Um, so it was hard to kind of pull you guys to show you a representation of what we have because this stuff is moving really fast. So we still have some copies of the Hell Witch Hellborn black and white edition. This is really, I really think this is a cool thing we started recently putting out where it shows um, the rough pencil sketches, the pencil work on our books. And we usually offer these on all our Kickstarters, but this is it, man. Look at how beautiful and stunning this is. Great way to show off how, you know, seeing how the work, the art works, looks before we add the inks and the coloring and what have you. So we still have some of these available. I believe they're going for $15, roughly. Sounds about right, that sounds about right. Oh, thank you, Haley. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Miguel, um, I um, got your um, order in through eBay. Thank you very much. And I just want to let you know I should have those packed up and shipped out to you, Miguel. Hopefully by... I'll show the naughty page. Ha. Um, <laughs> I flipped it that quickly, I hope. Um, but yes, uh, thank you very much, everybody. I lost my train of thought. Uh, 
Oh, Miguel, yes, I should have your order out by Thursday, Friday of this week. I just got done grabbing your, sounds like there's a Godzilla roaming around out there. Um, so yeah, I got your order and thank you very much. And everyone who's been doing the eBay orders, thank you real, uh, very much. If you guys want your stuff signed, please put that in the buyer note section so you can let me know if you want your items signed or not. It is something new we have been offering. So if you want your books signed and you purchase them on the eBay store, please message me there or message me at inquiries at coffincomics.com. I'd love to get your book signed. Another really cool piece we have on for the warehouse finds is Hellwitch, Hellborn 1. This is the Mega Incentive Edition. Uh, Janine Brumall did the art, and this is just beautiful. Look at the detailing on that. You can see all the line arts, see the veining in the uh, wings behind her, and those tears. I always love those tears, and I love... Of course, uh, I have a huge collection of skulls and skeletons at my house, so I really love the ram heads. So, these are on the warehouse finds. Click on the link and take it down. Oh, I'm glad you like. Oh, this is this. Uh, got my sworn days. I hate rules. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome, Jay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Um. Wow. Man, look at this community we got going on this page. Thank you, guys. Um, you guys are all a bunch of beautiful people. Now, another thing we have in the warehouse bonds that I didn't even know we had these is Zack the Zombie Exterminator. These are the Zack edition. This is a metal cover. Only 49 were made, or 50 were made. I grabbed number 49. So there's not many of this edition left. I think there's maybe 20 or so, could be less. So if you see anything you like on those warehouse finds, I am not kidding, scoop them up. Because some of this stuff, those numbers are going down fast. So if you want it, pick it up. Now over at uh, eBay, I've been loading up a lot of fun, interesting stuff. A lot of you guys are scooping up the second I get done posting it. So, um, thank you. Uh, it definitely keeps me on my toes right after I upload some. And five minutes later, you get a notification that it's sold. Um, so, yes. Uh, thank you very much, uh, all those who've been following me on eBay. If you guys are looking for some really interesting things, uh, one-of-a-kind things uh, from Coffin Comics or even the uh, Chaos Air, you can find that at the eBay store. Um, we also have at the Coffin Comics store a lot of the uh, Chaos uh, Lady Death stuff, uh, books. That stuff is also going quickly. Um, I am the keeper of the old stock, and I know there is certain um, issue numbers that we are getting down pretty low. So you've been debating. Don't debate any longer because they're going to go bye-bye. But some of the fun things that uh, Brian has been giving me is proof sheets. So what these are, these are kind of one-of-a-kind items. Sometimes I'll get a couple, two or three here and there. But they are proofs of the cover for Brian to okay on. Sometimes they turn out perfectly, like this one. This is the uh, La Muerta cover. It was limited to 300. I can't seem to see the, see the edition number. Um, but anyways, I only have this one. It comes with a COA, signed by Brian, meaning he okayed the proof. And on the reverse side is the um, back side of the second of the covers. So you can see there is your indicium with all your credits, and then our little adverts on the back for the back cover. Um, so far, um, I have one to five of these editions, um, but I really only have one that's five. So everything else is just one, one of a kind, I think this would look great, nicely framed. Hang that up right on your wall, just like that. And then if you have the book edition, I would even put the book edition like right there, make it like treasure. Because this is what it is, one of a kind. Um, so this is just one example of what I have uploaded. On Friday, um, a lot of people have picked stuff up. Um, a lot of you have picked stuff up. I still have, like this, 
La Muerte Retaliation. This is the Mama Z Deadly Duo cover. We have one of those. And then right down there, there's Brian's AOK -OK and Signature. So if you're interested in these, just click on the link for the eBay store and go ahead and make your selections. Um, some of the additions I had put up on Friday are already gone, but there is still a really nice selection to choose from. Um, and there is some things that are bid that um, are pretty damn sexy too. Um, this is the Lethal Edition. Have one of these up. This is a cover proof. Just to make sure everything is exactly laid out the way Brian would like it for a finished project. So when he signs off, says is it a okay? It's a okay. <laughs> See if anyone has any questions. Um, on average, Jay, about $30. Um, I do have some of the really popular Lady Death ones. I put some of those up for bid. Um, so if they sell for a higher price, great. If not, then I'll relist them for $30 or $40. Here is the homage proof. Gorgeous piece. That's the homaging Desperado. One of my favorite movies. Jesse Wishman. I think this. See, which in uh, his last uh, few campaigns with us, his work is just gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Another fun uh, little piece I have. This is the blackout version. And if you notice, it has no text. So this is just a layout to see how everything is going to look before they add the text up there. And really cool combo one I put together. I figure these had to be together, but I put up the Sworn 11 by 17 print and the Sworn 2 test proof together. This is a set on eBay. If you would like, I'll even have Brian sign the Sworn 1 11 by 17. As you can see, uh, there's definitely big size variants. I put in the dimensions. Um, I believe they're 19 by 13 for the uncut proof sheets. So in this set, it'll have Sworn 1 11 by 17 print and a Sworn 2 test proof. So there's a little combo set. So yeah, those two pieces together just look really amazing. They're beautiful. All right. This is the Lady Death Treacherous Infamy. This is the Am I Evil. These are test proofs. Just got these in from Mr. Polito. He is a ninja. Sometimes I'll come in after uh, the weekends and there's a, a box full of treasures from Brian's private collection. Of course, one cover a lot of people are really excited about. This is the cosplay cover. It's the only one I have. I believe there's a day or two left on the bidding on those, and that is it. Hey, Miguel. Thank you uh, for uh, helping out Jay there. I appreciate it. I like that about you guys. Everyone's so helpful and welcoming of others. It's just an amazing thing. You people warm my heart. <laughs> okay, this is the Treacherous Infamy. This is the hollow foil. It is not a hollow foil cover. This is just showing the art. So this is not done on holographic paper, but I think it really shows off the art greatly. So this is a beautiful piece. I got one of these right now on eBay. Click on the link. It'll take you over to the eBay store. Or if you need to want to do a special order for the local comic shop, Lady Death Metallic Edition, um, click on the link for the Coffin Comic Store and jump on in. I'm glad you think so. <laughs> uh, this is the Demon Knight Edition. These are cover proofs. I was 
very happy to get these from Brian. And I have been uploading them on Friday. Um, I will be doing some more uploading of other cover proofs in the next, uh, hopefully by the end of Friday, but um, since we're doing the Crucial Con, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, you guys are gonna be there, right? Um, Crucial Con is basically this weekend, I believe Phoenix um, Fan Fusion, is that what it's called now? Anyway, the local con was gonna be uh, reopening today, but they're not. So we are using that weekend, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, and we are doing a Crucial Con, pretty much similar to what we did for the Emerald City one, uh, where we had different little panels and people, artists, writers, creators, the comic gods have shined upon us, and that'll be Thursday, Friday, and Saturday this week, uh, 1 p.m. to 5 p.m., if I'm not mistaken. And I could be. It's been a Monday. So anyways, Crucial Con. You guys have been hearing about it. Now you get to experience it. Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Join us. It's going to be a lot of fun. We got a lot of really cool stuff. And I went deep into the vault this time. I went way deep, found some really neat old school editions. I found some really cool, cool number three editions. I found some really awesome and amazing BPs, APs. Oh, Lordy V, did I find some cool stuff for you. So I hope you like the selections I made. Um, we'll be doing three different vault sessions. Um, one, two, three. Expect to see some really cool stuff, guys. I, I just love doing this for y'all so crucial con check it out also sign up for our vip newsletter folks there's a link down there too near the bottom click on that that will let you know every week on mondays we send out a newsletter that tells you everything that we have planned or what we got going on uh, months in advance some things that are coming on this weekend so click on that link if you want to be up to date on our kickstarter events uh, when cons start starting, starting up again, what cons are we going to be at? Uh, what cool new additions we got coming down the pipe? Warehouse finds. What did we find for the eBay store? Lots of really good, fun information um, that we provide to you. So check it out. Click on the link below. That'll take you to the Coffin Comics VIP newsletter to keep you up to date. All right, guys. Um, some other more test proofs I have. Um, this one, I have five copies. So this is the La Muerta Retaliation. This is the test proof. I need my money for sword. <laughs> Haley, with your fan club, just say, hey, boys, why don't you treat me to those additions? There you go. There you go. Some other, uh, here's some examples of some uh, scratch and dent stuff. Um, I have just got done uploading. Uh, this is a three pack set. This is Malevolent Decimation. This is the Evil Lives um, three pack. Um, yeah, nice uh, little, nice little dings up there in the corner. So I have these listed at a really nice price to go. All these three editions are signed by Brian and I still have the COA in it. So this is the kind of things you'll see in the scratch and dent on the eBay store. I only have one set of these three. So if you see it, you like it, click it. Already signed for you. And if you would like something signed from the eBay store, please send me a message uh, either via eBay or put it in the uh, notes to buyer and I'll uh, make sure that happens for you. Another thing I only have one of, um, and I wish I had more, Malevolent Decimation. This is the uh, Naughty Ladies Edition. There was only 88 of this beautiful cover made by Sun K. I have one available. This is a scratch and dent. It is not a mint book. So just so you know, most of all scratch and dent items are sold as is, and they are not eligible for returns. So. Buyer beware. But they're really great for reading copies. Say there's a copy you're like, ah, I want that edition. Um, I really like that, say, cosplay edition. They got it, they can dent one. Well, I like mine mint, but they do have 
a naughty edition on Scratch and Dent. Um, yeah, let me pick this up and that up and that's, and then I've had people also wrap up all their orders for Scratch and Dent and then they use one item that's a high dollar item. Um, say there's a medal they've been watching, but they want some of the other ones. Well, they, uh, what I've been noticing is people are scooping up the one edition they really want and other editions that are lower cost for reading and whatnot or gifts or handing out loaner copies. So um, these are all scratch and dent. Uh, I'm planning to load up even more, uh, probably start tomorrow. But this is the Malevolent Decimation Candle Mass Edition. Only 188 of these were made. I do have these signed. I only have two of them. And that is all she wrote. So once I'm out of these, I'm out of them. Until uh, some more come my way, which hopefully will happen soon. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my God. Jay, thank you. That was amazing. Um, Jay Taylor has said, I'm going to have to take a second job stripping for some of this stuff. <laughs> Jay, that, um, you're the quote of the week, man. That was beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> a couple other copies I have uploaded onto our eBay store in the Scratch and Dent. This is the Lady Death Masters Mike Chrome. I thought this was really cool that we're doing these Masters editions to focus on the art of a specific artist. And this edition is, of course, the amazingly talented Mike Chrome. Um, so look at all these lovely covers he's done for us. And they are all available in this beautiful little book all about his art. Check it out. This is the Lady Death Masters Mike Chrome number one. This is the uh, premiere edition. I have about two to four in stock. And these are Nick and Dent, so they are less priced. If you still want them signed, I will get them signed for you too. Another item I believe I might be sold out by the time I show it to you, but I'm going to do it anyway because everyone seems to really love this cover, and it is a stunner. This is the Lady Death Malevolent Decimation Cosplay Edition. Two copies I had, if they're still available, were signed by Brian. They do include the COA. So, get them while I got them. Um, they're going very quick. Very quick. Scratch and Dent stuff, I, um, <laughs> I found out, are extremely popular. Another really cool malevolent decima decimation. Oh, I fudged it. Thanks, guys. Daryl! D-Dog, what's up, man? How are you? It's always good to have everybody. Everyone, let's give a shout-out to Daryl. Everyone say, hi, Daryl D-Dog. How's it going? How's it going? Malevolent decimation homage edition. And I do have a couple copies signed and unsigned. If they are still on the store, I've been having a lot of people gobble these editions up. Um, lately, when I put them up, they're going as fast as I can get them up there. Another Malevolent Decimation. This is a Jewel edition. I have, um, I believe, four total. I have a couple unsigned and a couple signed. These are Scratch and Dent. They are enhanced with the beautiful Schwarzki crystals. Schwarzkis. I need uh, the vodka to say it better. So, pick those up. Like I say, I only have four copies of that bad boy. Another really cool thing I uploaded is the black and white premiere edition of the Lady Death Malevolent Decimation. Again, look at these interiors. Look at those pencil sketches. Now, yeah, I love that we have it on a high gloss, and my God, that image of La Muerta is beautiful. And you guys, you guys all know me. That's my favorite character here at Coffin. Wow, look at this. Look at these beautiful art, guys. These are, this is the Lady Death Level at Decimation Black and White. We have them both on the eBay store. Very few. I think I have maybe four Nick and Dents and maybe nine that are non-scratch and dent. 
If I sell out, we still have some at the Coffin Comic Shop. Check there too. They are also going very quickly. These black and white editions are very popular. All right, for those uh, who are just who joined us late, um, I wanted to do a special announcement. We're raising uh, money for local comic shops. Um, we are doing a metal edition. It will be Lady Death Chaos Rules. This is the local comic shop edition. It's done by Mr. Montemore. Look at that beautiful piece. Now this item does not receive discounts. The reason being is this is a, a charity book for raising money for local comic shops around the nation. Um, with the shutdown happened, a lot of uh, small businesses were affected. A lot of them, big businesses too. Um, and a lot of them were comic book shops. Um, I have done comic book retail for over 25 years before I started working here at Coffin. Um, those are my roots. Uh, that is where I learned everything about comics um, over the years. I also used to shop frequent comic shops um, in my neighborhoods. Uh, they had them. Um, another one I had mentioned, the one bookshop in Tempe. Another fun one I used to hang out with uh, at two um, was the Taurus Atomic Comics. For those of you who know me, I spent my years from when I was 16 until I was 38, I think. So a good 22 years of my life were either working at that store or hanging out there because um, I love the atmosphere and I just love going to the comic shops. Um, Comic shops are family-owned businesses. Um, a lot of these families are taking a hit, hard, hard, hard hit uh, with the shutdowns, and they're just adapting the best they can to keep their doors open. Um, there's some shops I talked to, they were gonna open up their uh, brick and mortar stores, then everything happened, so they had to postpone that. Um, so there's a lot of these folks that are really working hard to keep the doors open, or even open their doors up for the first time. So we are happy to announce that um, starting today, you can pre-order the uh, local comic shop metallic edition up till Monday, October 19th at 5 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time. For my friends on the East Coast, that'll be 8 p.m. Uh, East Coast time. Um, we are anticipating to ship these books in late October, early November. I know Brandy has really worked hard to hit all these dates for y'all to get the books to you on time. Um, she's, her and the warehouse crew have done an amazing job to keep the flow of the books going out of here and into your hands. So props to them. Um, for those who uh, know Brandy, you know she busts her ass for you guys. And she does it because she loves it, and she loves you all, as we do. Um, so let's help out the local comic shops. There's no discounts on these medals. There's no discounts. This is a charity book. We're raising money to help local comic shops. So if you got $100, you might spare, and you want a really cool, beautiful book, I highly recommend it. We are, this is, uh, Mr. Harrigan's going to be doing this for us. There is only going to be quantities made for orders put in by October 19th. So please, please, please support us by supporting the local comic shops. Order that unique cover today. Beautiful book by, uh, or art I should say, by uh, David Harrigan. Um, and it's a great way to just show your support for comic shops. If it wasn't for them, um, a lot of us wouldn't be here. Um, local comic shops are also our lifeblood to get our books out to a broader audience because most of the time it's from you guys and some of you guys have come to me when I was running shops saying will you carry coffin comics and I said oh hell yeah I will because that's Brian Polito's company so let's show some support for local comic shops go ahead and click on the link for the coffin comic shop and uh, look up Lady Death Chaos Rules local comic shop metallic edition um, thank you very much for hearing my rant. Um, comic book shops mean a lot to me. Um, and I hope they mean a lot to you. They're a great place for building communities 
meeting new people, and finding something amazing to geek out on. Whether it be a comic book by Lady Death, or whether it be a role-playing book, say you want to start getting into role-playing, keep your local comic shops up. You want that cool collectible, that bust, or that piggy bank you've been checking out, that whole piggy bank that your son wants to save his allowance, go to your local comic shop and get that. Yeah, you can get things easily by going to Amazon. Support your local comic shops. They give jobs to your local community. They build the community. Just like you guys do here. So thank you very much. I hope you guys uh, take that into consideration and check it out. <clears throat> um, thank you. I, I'm, I, I, thank you, Haley and everyone. I do think we... Um, are the best company around. I don't just say that because I work here. I say that because we mean it. We don't BS you guys. We really try to be on the up and up. If we make a mistake on the orders, we're there to rectify and take care of it. We believe in big time customer service. We give it our all, all the time, 24 seven, for you guys. Because if it's not for you, we wouldn't be here. So thank you. Um, lots of time to talk about, oh. Scott, I remember um, it was your brother that actually got me my job at Atomic Comics. Um, I just happened to go to the Metro store to check out their Godzilla stuff uh, for the first time after it opened. And um, I remember your brother was there and um, he hooked me up with uh, an employee discount. And he's like, well, for all the stuff, you know, why don't you uh, apply? It's like, well, I got interviewed. Uh, already at the Mesa store, and I don't think they hired me. Well, then Malby showed up, and your brother was like, "Hey, this guy wants a job." And Malby was like, "Hey, I know you. I need you. I need you really bad to sell my Godzilla stuff because the guy who did the Godzilla stuff left." So, yeah, Scott, um, I have your brother to thanks for that. Um, that was a long time ago, man. Ninety-four, summer of ninety-four. So it was May, May, June of ninety-four. Um, was when I walked in and your brother uh, said, hey, he might be interested in this. And I'm so glad Malby walked in that day because that's when I started working in comic book shops and been doing it my whole damn life. <laughs> <laughs> but I love it. It's a really fun industry to work in. Um, another thing when, when uh, with comic book shops too is when financial situations happen to folk, um, we're the first businesses, comic shops are the first businesses to take the hit because not only we're a very small niche market and those markets are also very, very, very small. Um, so what they try to do is they try to put themselves out there to grow and to get bigger and bigger and bless their hearts, those people really work really hard. So when the first signs of anything bad happens financially, it's the comic book shops to take the hit because we're just entertainment budget. You know, it's not a necessity. Some people would say, yes, we are a necessity. And those people that do, thank you. Um, but comic shops are uh, the lifeblood of this industry. Um, so if you haven't checked out your local comic shop, please do. Check them out, give them your support. You know, check out the different shops in your neighborhood. Uh, in Phoenix, we have tons in just about every city in the Valley of the Sun, there's a comic book shop near you. So, um, really important business. It's a really cool industry to be a part of. I've spent my entire adult life doing this, and I love it. And I will continue to do it to the day I die. They call me a lifer. That's right, I'm gonna sell comic books to you guys till the day I stop breathing. And I hope I do that for a very long time. Um, so thank you very much. Um, Eric, how are you? Well, Eric Hart, uh, I don't have a ton of stuff, but I wanted to let you know to click on the links. Um, we are raising money to help local comic shops by doing uh, an exclusive metal edition uh, that um, is raising money for comic shops. It's $100, there's no discounts. This is a charity book. So um, Eric, that's a, a really big thing we're showing. Also, um, Eric, some things you might have missed. Um, found a Zach, the zombie exterminator. This is the Zach Metals. And also, um, warehouse finds. On the link, uh, Eric, click on the coffee shop uh, links, 
that should take you to warehouse fines. A lot of the stuff that we have found to do this promotion is in stock. It's like, oh, hey, we still have these. Let's put these up. The stuff is moving fast. Uh, there's a lot of metallic cards that have sold out. Um, there's also um, book editions uh, that is also sold out. So whatever you see, if it's on there, click on it because uh, don't debate. A lot of this stuff is moving fairly quickly. Just to do today's show, it was really hard to uh, pick some merch. Uh, to show you guys for the warehouse finds because a lot of it was selling out uh, the moment I was picking them. So it's like, oh boy, uh, that's gone. Uh, so a lot of really cool stuff. Um, Randy and the warehouse crew would have been really finding some very cool stuff um, that a lot of you probably haven't seen or haven't been offered in a while. It's just stuff that's like, oh my gosh, we forgot we have it. So they're loaded up there and they're going very fast. So check it out. Click on the links. For the eBay links, uh, I mostly focus today on the cover proofs. Eric, if you're interested in them, um, uh, will there be around fours? Yes, every Friday is where you see the warehouse finds throughout the month of September, uh, just to let you know, Eric. Um, so there will be Friday, they will be dropping a new uh, bunch of stuff and then I'll be wrapping it up for the warehouse finds for the month of September. Uh, so there is going to be a round four. We're only at round three, buddy. Come on, we still got another round to go. Uh, lots of cool stuff. Um, here's some examples, Eric, of the um, warehouse fine metallic cards. I was going to show you all like eight, um, nine to ten. I can only find four because that's how fast this stuff is moving. So if there's something you've been interested in and it's in that warehouse finds, Scoop it up, they're going quick. Oh, Ace, you got your uh, cover proof. Great, sweet. I'm trying to get my stuff out as fast as I can. Um, so just to show you, Eric, uh, for my recap here, on the eBay store, I have five soft cover proofs for La Muerta Retaliation. These are all signed by Brian. I will include a COA in those. Uh, some other really cool stuff. There's also some Lady Death, Dragon Knight. Pardon me, I didn't mean to burp. Uh, I apologize for that. These are cover proofs for the Treacherous Intent. Um, treacherous Infamy, I should say. Hey, I did that right. Um, so I only have onesies of these. Um, there is some I do have like one or two of. Uh, but five seems to be the uh, number of the max I've had so far of one given cover. Uh, and once that's it, that's it. This is the hollow foil version, test proof, cover proof. It is not on holographic paper, but it's definitely a beautiful piece to show off the artwork that we have here. So click on the links for the eBay store and that'll give you to the page proofs. Um, Yes, they are totally worth framing. I think, like, here would be a good example of one. I think it would be, like, great. Like, say you had the cosplay cover that you got on the Kickstarter. You know, this an example if it was this cover. I think something like that framed or in the reverse, like a pyramid, I think that would look stunning on any collector's wall. Um, and I will include the COA. But I think that will look bam. Just like that in a nice frame. Show off the cover and the finished product. And it's signed by Brian. I only have one of these pretty much across the board. Probably the one I'm really excited for. Um, and when Brian showed me this cover, I, I, I flipped my lid. Because it's a stunning cover. Um, I have the Swarm 2 cover proof. But what I'm doing with it is I'm also including the 11 by 17 Swarm 1. So this is a two print set. As you can see, the test uh, cover proofs are way larger than 11 by 17. They are 19 by 13 if I uh, am remembering that correctly. Uh, but yes, this is the only set I have of this. Uh, it's at a bid of 40. Some other back over here so I can file it away and it's a nice folder. Um, 
<clears throat> also have La Muerta, the homage, test proof. And on the back side, you can see what the reverse of the cover will be. So there's your indicium with all the uh, credits. And then there's the advert that we usually put on the back of all of our back covers. So this is the homage, La Muerta Ascension homage, cover proof. Another one I have, oh, this one's so, so beautiful. She, all these covers are beautiful. I love this character so much. Um, Retaliation, this is the lethal edition. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Absolutely love this. Love showing that off. Um, so yes, uh, Elias Chatzuda did the art. I only have one of these guys. That's it. Once it's gone, that's it. This is a cover proof. $30. Get it while I got them. One of a kind things. Brandy just scared the, the Jeebus out of me, but that's okay because Brandy likes to keep me on my toes. <laughs> Here is the uh, La Muerta Retaliation Mama Z Deadly Duo sheet. And again, on the back cover, has all your beautiful things that we put on the back cover. The front cover is one of the most prettiest things we got right there. Joel Gomez, stunning. Say it, Brandy. Say it. You know you want to say it. Say it. Brandy's in here with me. She's just being quiet which is not normal for her. <laughs> and then, of course, what would it be without... <sighs> Guys, these are almost gone. Most of them, I have already sold out of these on the Lamortas. They are going very fast. If there's one you like, get it. I am not joking. I have one of the kind on these. I even sub that have <laughs> Can't wait to show you guys those ones. Um, so please, check this out. This is at the eBay store. These are all the test-proof covers that Brian gave to me last week. So I started loading them up. Somebody has already scooped up four to five in one order. So don't delay. Make your choice today. There is no justice for Jeff, Miguel. Never! Oh, Miguel, you had to bring up the justice for Jeff? That is a really <laughs> touchy subject here at HQ. <laughs> you never bring that up to Brandy. <laughs> because Brandy is now going to abuse Jeff, who just happens to be here today. <laughs> so now you just made his life a living hell, Miguel. Okay, that rhymes. Hmm, okay, anyways. Um, so yeah, you guys have uh, hurt Hurt him. The badass will get a badass spanking from Ooh. Randy. Oh, hold on. Hey, hey <laughs> you, you know you abuse him. That's why there's justice. You heard his ears. Eric says he would love to get his hands on all of the posters we have hanging at the office. Mm -hmm. I think that is a heck of a tall word because there's, what, over a thousand images? It's ridiculous how many we have. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean, the bombshells. Right the bombshells. Look at this. This. Look at all that beauty we are surrounded with here at HQ. You guys are jealous. Oh, what's that? Our Our germ, germ Hogan. Sorry. <laughs> and there's the beautiful bar we have. Um, so we're almost at time. Oh wow! Scott knows his Brandy. Quiet lies. Wow, Scott. He, he don't know me. Wow, Scott. Um, <laughs> Ace Bonnie says, go get him, Brandy. I'm, I'm <laughs> on my way. All right. There she goes, everybody. Bye. Look at the fun stuff we have here. You know, look at, look at, I, I love these shows because I get to interact with you guys. We're interacting with Brandy. And I just want to say thank you, everybody. Um, <laughs> that's my case. Ha, ha, ha. Man. You guys are just attacking Miss Brandy today. What the heck? Yep. <laughs> you guys. <laughs> so Halloween's coming up. Um, I'm hoping. Uh, I don't. I, I'm hoping Halloween's on a Monday because I think I might do a show uh, in costume for you all. Uh, I'm getting ready to wrap things. Oh, I still got five more minutes. Let me keep showing you stuff. Let me keep showing you stuff, Eric. I'm going to show you these things. Um, 
some of the stuff while I got a few minutes. I have a Nick and Dead set of Malevolent Decimation Evil Lives with um, La Muerta, the Necromancer, and Madam Midnight. This is a Mendoza three book set. This is part of my Scratch and Dent stock. All three of these. Click on the link. Look up Scratch and Dent. I only have one set of three, and that's it. It is gone. Sold out. It is a Nick and Dent. All three copies are signed by Brian Polito, and I made sure I included those COAs. Halloween is a Saturday. Well, cock a duty poopy. No, I don't have Harlequin. But thank you for asking, Cody. <laughs> How are you, Cody? Where are you joining us from? We always introduce ourselves here. But yeah, and you don't need to apologize. You just ask in a question, Cody. Uh, let me know where you're from, dude. Introduce yourself. We got a heck of a group of nice people here. Another scratch and dent I have is the Lady Death Malevolent Decimation. Homage. And yes, I do have it signed. Uh, I only have a couple of these, so once they're gone, that's it. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. New York is in the house. Everyone, let's give a round of applause to Cody. Thank you, Cody. Now, let me say, oh, right on. Well, hopefully the campfire is the forest around the city. Because over here on the West Coast, everything's burning and smoking. So, Cody, welcome to the group. If this is your first time in, this is the CCSN, this is a Coffin Comics shopping network. We deal with all things Coffin Comics, Chaos Comics. Anything Brian Polito has created, we got here. Unless I sold out of it, which happens a lot. So Cody, um, I'm doing really good. Ace, Ace, Cody, you guys introduce each other. Um, Cody, we're a, a fun group. I'm a, a publisher. We're Coffin Comics publishing company here in Mesa, Arizona. We do this show every Monday, kind of promoting our wares both on our store uh, and our eBay store, and also teasing people some of the fun exclusives we come up with uh, here at Coffin and whatnot. Uh, one of the books we're um, promoting is a link. We don't do shout outs here. If you ever come back in, Cody, just click on the links. Coffin, Coffin, uh, Coffin Comic Shop will take you to all our uh, beautiful books and prints and art books and what have you. And also on the eBay store is where we have a lot of our rare, more exclusive stuff. And we're also doing a charity book called Local Comic Shop. It's the Lady Death uh, Chaos Rules, number one, Local Comic Shop Edition. It is a metallic cover. It is $100. We're raising money for local comic shops. Um, so if you're interested, click on the uh, Coffin Comic Shop link, and that'll take you. Um, just look for Local Comic Shop, Lady Death Chaos Rules. Uh, and make the order today. Um, we are cutting off the orders on October 19th at 5 p.m. Uh, Pacific Daylight Time, which uh, since you're in New York, that'll be 8 p.m. your time. So thank you for joining us, dude, and thank you for the question. Um, we're always uh, about accepting new people and loving all things comics. So I got two minutes. Um, Cody, uh, thank you for joining us again. I uh, hope I didn't put you on the spot, but we like to uh, introduce everyone and let everyone know you are a part of the show. You are a part of it when you come on here. Ace, beautiful seeing you. Eric, thank you very much for coming in. Um, Jay Taylor, thank you. Scott No, thank you. Miguel, of course, thank you. Haley, thank you very much for joining us. I'll uh, check my messages for what you sent me. Uh, who else do I need to thank here? Oh, Bob. Wouldn't be a show without Bob. Or D-Dog. Daryl. Gene Johnson. What? So thank you guys for joining me today. Um, I hope you guys have a wonderful week. I'll be chatting with you more. Message me if you have any questions, inquiries at coffincomics.com or message me at the eBay store. Thank you very much, everybody. I hope you have a marvelous day, and I'll talk to you next Monday. Bye-bye. Where's my stop button?